Hey YouTube and XTA forum members, it's Kiwi Guy here or Hamdog, whichever one you're looking at me from. Uh, today I'm going to run a quick installation guide of how to flash Rocket ROM. This will actually work for any custom ROM. Just going to go through the process of what to do um, in a video tutorial because sometimes text can be a bit confusing for some new people out there. So let's get into it. Right, so the first thing you want to do is reboot into Clockwork Mode Recovery. So you will need to be rooted for this. If you're not rooted, uh, look at another one of my installation guides for that. But that's another story. So, first of all, you're going to want to delete all user data. So let's just do that. It's the most important part. If you don't do that, then you will have problems. So what this does is format the data, the cache, and a couple of other folders, which clears up space for your new ROM flashing. Uh, once you've done that, you'll need to go into Wipe Cache. Now, once that's finished, go into Advanced, and inside there is Wipe the Devic Cache, and you need to do that. There's also an option for wiping the battery status, but leave that at the moment, and don't delete that until your battery is at 100%, otherwise you'll have issues with incorrect battery charging and displaying the incorrect amount. Um, apologies for the feedback, it's raining outside and that may be the little static you hear in the background. Okay anyway, so uh, once we have done that, you can, and I always do, is go into advanced um, and format my system folder. Sometimes I've had issues in the past where I haven't been able to install apps because it says I'm out of space, so that's how you get around that little problem. Now the next step is to flash a kernel that won't brook our phone. If you have already got a safe kernel on there, you can skip the step, but for those who haven't, uh, you need to install Zip from SD card, go into the place you've stored it, so for me it's custom, Sammy kernels. Now there's a few kernels you can choose from. Um, the latest of any TouchWiz kernel like Notecore or SpeedMod or even um, a gingerbread kernel like Abyss. Now once you've flashed your kernel, you'll then need to go back into Advanced. Oops, let's get me out of here. Back into Advanced and then into Reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So you'll be rebooting into your new kernel that you've just flashed. Right, so once you've done that, you then can flash your ROM. So let me just wait for mine to reboot. Okay, so there we go. Now you go to install zip from SD card. Go into the place we stored it. So back into custom. And then into my place where the ROM is, semi ROM. And then Rocket Run version 3, which is what I'm flashing now. And then that's it. Um, depending on what ROM you've come from, if you've already come from Rocket ROM, you can obviously just flash the ROM straight over top, and it'll only take a few minutes. If you've come from a different ROM, like a Android open source, or whatever ROM you've come from, it could take upwards of 5 minutes, 7 minutes, even 10, depending on you know what what is going to have to be reflashed from this ROM. Okay, so that was um, the install guide. Thanks for watching. This is Kiwi Guy. Out.